When listing on eBay, it's best to use the payments, return, and shipping profiles. This is found under the business policies directly on eBay. To create these policies, you have to go directly into eBay, but you may not be able to see these business policies under account business policies unless if you've opted in to the business policy. So in order to get to this page, you can go to bit.ly slash eBay profiles. This will take you directly to the opt-in page if you haven't already opted in. And if you have opted in, whenever you go here, it just takes you directly into the business policy section. From here, you can read the tutorial on eBay's business policies, and you can also see all of the policies that have already been created. There are payment, returns, and shipping profiles that are created, and if you haven't actively been using your business policies, then these have been created on each individual item that you've been listing. That being said, you may have well over three pages. I had actually 15 pages whenever I started. So after coming into here, I wanted to clean up the policies because you may have a bunch of profiles that have not been used in a while or they're not connected to any particular item and you can simply clean up the policies or consolidate the policies. The purpose of this is so you're not scrolling through multiple policies whenever you see the same policies duplicated over and over. The next step I'm going to show you is how to rename your policies so these make sense and they show up as your default policies. In this case, I added an asterisk in front of the title so I could easily denote that this is the default shipping policy, the default payment policy. To edit the title, you can just click edit. And then I added an asterisk, which you can change this to just say default calculated shipping policy, however you want to make sense of your policies. Now that we've cleaned up the policies, let's go back into Sheridan. In order to get here, I went to settings, channels. Once I get into settings channels, you want to click on eBay main or whichever instance we're currently working on. Once I get here, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and you'll see the profiles right here. Now the profiles do not dynamically change, meaning they don't automatically change to exactly what you just did unless if you click refresh profiles. If you just added the eBay account to Sheridan, you won't see anything in here until you do click refresh profiles. So I'm going to go ahead and click Refresh Profiles. It'll greatly reduce the amount once you clean up all of the policies. You can see this is the one with the asterisk. Once I select that, then I can select the next one. Now I have the default policies selected, and I can go ahead and click Save. Last, I'm going to show you exactly where these policies are used within a listing. I'm going to go directly into a product. And when you scroll down to the eBay main section, it's going to be towards the very bottom where you will see the payment profile right here. By default, it automatically pulls that payment profile. Now, if you need to change it because this item is different, you can still change it. This is just set to the default setting. So that's for payment. And now we can scroll down and go to the shipping section to which you will see the eBay main shipping profile right here and then also the returns profile right here.